All right, guys, we are back with some more Wonder Egg Priority. Finally, we got episode 13 or like the special up and ready to go. Uh, so, yeah, it has been a minute since we last watched some Wonder Egg Priority. Uh, I think it was like two or three months ago that episode 12 came out. So this is more like an OVA technically, but it's also like it's a, it's a direct continuation of what happened after episode 12. So I don't know if this is like the season finale or the entire series finale. I, I don't know if we have more after this because it's, um, the episode itself uh, is like 46 minutes. But you guys let me know that um, the first 20 minutes was recap and which I've watched to just, you know, uh, refresh the memory, uh, get all the names right, get sort of the plot down even though it's still very complicated and jumbled to me um i i get like the gist of it there's I, I even wrote some notes here while watching the recap uh the main thing is there's like parallel worlds and that's kind of what we're dealing in right now because in episode 12 a, another i came out of one of the eggs and it's an alternate version of I who killed herself, but somehow it ended up being that our I from our universe opened her out of an egg. And so I don't know if that means like the dream world that they open the eggs in, if that's like its own parallel world, like a bridge uh, between worlds or how it works. I I'm still very confused on how like, uh, Frill is able to mess with things the way she does. Like, she's an AI, a very smart AI, but how that ended up with her being able to control dreams and, like, get into young girls' heads in order to cause them to commit suicide, she, she was kind of giving them, like, a bit of an extra push to get them to, um, like, kill themselves. I, I, I don't know if they really explained it, and I missed it, it, there really wasn't anything in the recap that explained it either. So I'm, I don't know if I'm just dumb or if they just haven't said anything about it yet. Yeah, it's still very confusing to me and why alternate worlds are like a part of it. Uh, it it's just a very complicated plot, honestly. And I'm not sure if I really understand everything that I should but I'm going into it anyway. <laughs> I'm finishing this off. I told you guys I would, so I'm here. Uh, like, the show got very brutal uh, towards those last few episodes because all the pets that they got were just getting killed and eaten and then forced the girls to eat them. It was messed up. I don't think we ever saw um, Leon die. That's I's pet. But we saw... Manon and Panic both die. Uh, and I, like, that also makes me wonder, like, what's going on with Nehru, Nehru and her uh, thing? Like, we haven't even, we didn't even see her in episode 12. So is she dealing with something as well? Uh, what's going on with her? Uh, plus, there's, like, the whole platy thing. I don't know. There, There's a whole lot of shit going on. And I don't want to make this intro too long, but it, this is the first time I've had to deal with, like, an OVA that came out months after. So I kind of feel like I need to go over some stuff. Not even really for you guys, but for myself. Just say it out loud to, like, clear it up a bit more. But man, I'm really hoping we get a little bit of explanation uh, in this episode to how things got the way they are. Or maybe it won't and it'll just stay a mystery. That's kind of cool too, but I, I don't know. I like to know what's going down. Oh, well, I, I don't think there's really anything else I need to say. Just, yeah, I's going to have to deal with, um, what was her name? Kiara? She's the one monster uh, girl that showed up, one of Frill's buddies or servants or something. Uh, so hopefully she doesn't take out Leon, though that's it's really not looking that great right now. Plus, I's alternate version died. It's this whole thing. 
<laughs> I don't even know like what the meaning behind it was really because I'm sure there's some like subliminal messaging in there somewhere about uh, herself dying and like herself killing herself and then dying again. It's very, um, very much beyond me, but yeah, we're just going to hop right into things. Uh, hope, let's just hope you guys pray for me because I am lost a little bit lost, but yeah, uh, that's really all I got to say about it, even though that was a lot. So yeah, I'm hoping I can figure things out by the end of this. We only got like 20 minutes left because I did watch the recap. I think I mentioned that. So yeah, 20 minutes left and kind of a lot to explain really to make sense of, but whatever, we're going to hop right into things. I'm sure there's going to be at least some cool battles to watch, if nothing else. So let's go. Oh. <laughs> it's nice to see Nadu's child is shy every once in a while. My priority. Okay. <sighs> Man, I'm... I'm very confused on the timeline as well. Like, is this before their fight or Ai's fight with like herself and Kiara? Man, is it supposed to be this confusing? I do like the show. I'm not trying to like shit on it or anything, but man. Trust you with him. Oh, okay. Going on vacation? Nehru? Oh, so that was her rat. Right. Lost her balance. Uh, if no one was watching her, how would they know she lost her balance and didn't actually jump? Maybe she did. Oh? Oh, oh! did Koito actually come back? Wait, okay. So she was texting Nehru and then Koito walked past. So it seems like this is happening after they've met and became friends, like Nehru and I. So yeah, she Koito must be back, right? But she's acting like she's never met him. Or her, met her. What, what am I saying here? Is she making fun of her? I don't know what... I, so, she came back, but it seems like they never actually met. Like, that's kind of one of the uh, side effects of bringing her back. So, that could be the same with both Momo and Rika's... Uh, you know, people, friends, too. Is she running across the ocean right now? I don't know you. Wait. It's a nuisance. Wait, so does... I won't be... What? What? But they were just texting. Is the whole, like, world getting changed right now? Because of what she did? They're gone? The messages are gone? Photos with Koito, but... Okay, with Koito, but what about Nehru? You st she still has the picture on the back of the phone. <laughs> well, you don't gotta go that far, come on. Oh, okay, she did. Jeez. Okay, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's about to light one up. Okay. Okay, no. Oh, probably, probably smart. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Doing some karaoke? 
What's going on here? <laughs> oh! A little. Oh. So. So, yeah. Bringing them back changes the world a little bit, a tiny bit. It said creates noise, so that makes sense. But if they didn't, if Nehru's not a friend, if she doesn't remember I, how is she still friends with Rika and Momo? And why are Rika and Momo fine now? They were like in a really bad state at the end of the last episodes. <laughs> well, that's good. Can't leech off her anymore. Okay, so they seem... Maybe they just... They've, like, gotten better. How much time has passed, though? I'm, I'm sorry. I, I feel like I'm literally ripping on everything. Like, I don't even know if I want to post this reaction because I am so lost. But man, like, what is this timeline? Hey guys, um, this is Future Mark here uh, from a day later. I am currently in the middle of editing this video and I just wanted to clear up some things. As of now, since I'm technically like re-watching the episode while doing this editing, um, I kind of understand the timeline a little bit better. My main problem was that the whole like, uh, I didn't know what happened between the eye fight and what was going on currently because I wasn't sure if like the eye fight even had a conclusion because I think I'm still not a hundred percent sure, but I think it ended when the parallel eye died. So there wasn't really anything else after that to do with the fight and whatever happened. But I, when I was watching this part this first half of the episode and uh, even I will admit I don't think I clocked into it in the later half either um I I figured we were gonna get some more like eye battle stuff uh learn what actually happened so that's sort of what confused me but I think I kind of understand it better how basically this episode is kind of just a linear po linear li linear uh linear timeline Jeez, Mark, words. But yeah, it's pretty linear. Like, I, she met up with Nehru in the first scene. Um, that was Nehru. And I think the whole scene with Nehru, like, discussing with her um, bunny slippers, that was her maybe convincing herself about whether to actually take Frill up on her offer. Um, and then she probably decided to do that. So after their conversation and after Nehru gave I the rat, Adam, she must have left. And that's why when I is talking to who we thought was Nehru, it was actually her sister slash, um, like the original, uh, whatever. Yes. Like, I, it, it's the whole AI thing that's the that kind of messes it up. That was the confusing part because we didn't learn that until the end of the episode. So just so you guys know, I kind of understand what's going on. I'm, I'm sorry that I have to like butt in here, but I didn't talk about it at all during the outro. I haven't gone to editing that part yet. So you might see me again later on in this video. I don't know. Just, yeah, I wanted to clear that up. I kind of understand it better. I don't want to spoil, uh, screw it. I'm, I'm just going to say it. I didn't enjoy this episode that much. Uh, I'll talk about it more in the outro, but um, this kind of lightens the load that I at least understand it a bit more. I like that takes away some negatives. So yeah, I'll probably pop up again later on during the outro or somewhere abouts there and maybe discuss it more now that I understand it and that I'm rewatching it. Uh, yeah, just, I wanted to quick clear that up. Sorry for that. Um, maybe some of you went in the comments already to like rip on me about how easy it is to understand, but you gotta admit it's a confusing ass plot if you don't like know everything. Cause really, until you see like the final few scenes, you don't know. Like it's confusing. And I guess I just didn't process it. But whatever. Uh back to the video. You'll probably see me again. Thing that killed Manon. 
All right. Well, okay. Momo said that they all cleared it. So this means this is set after all the battles and stuff. So do, do we just not get to see the battle between like I and Kiara? Is that just, well, I don't know because maybe we did see it because the other I sacrificed herself and maybe that's where it ended. Like I woke up after that. So that would be, that would kind of make sense. Is it just me? Am I, am I just really stupid? <laughs> Man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get Momo. I do. After seeing what she saw, uh, it's right to like be scared. Oh, she's a little jealous, huh? Kimi got stolen from her. Uh, maybe. Oh, is that the secretary? Oh, yeah. Currently missing? Wait, so is that her sister? Yeah, younger sister. Okay, so she's back. That that explains why she wouldn't know her. Okay, okay, thank God. Like, that at least clears things up a little bit as to how the eggs work. Because if Nehru's just missing, that means, you know, there's no memory. Weird-ass memory shit going on. Weird-ass timeline changes uh, that affected her. But man, she isn't dead, right? Last stream. Oh, so we do, we get to see her battle with whoever. Uh, ain't you dead? Me. Oh. Uh, Parallel. Oh, so she actually, what, she, f I guess she, she was smart, but she figured out how to get between parallel worlds? Okay. Maybe that's where Nehru went then. Different world? It kind of figures that Nehru is the only one who was able to talk to like, the person she saved, her sister, who apparently seems to not like her very much. I, Momo, and Rika, they didn't even have a chance to, like, talk to them. I think the most that they did was, like, say each other's names, <laughs> and then they just vanished. But no, the sister had to stick around for, like, 15 extra seconds just to stir up some trouble before she even came back to life. Ready. Oh, three of you? Oh, all three of them showed up for Nehru? You get to live. Okay. So... Oh, well, fuck you, Frill. Oh, I'm sorry, I keep pausing, but there's just so much to process here. Uh, so they said if you sacrifice your pet, you get to live. So, really, with Eyes Battle, it must have been something about the parallel eye dying that must have like fulfilled the requirements or whatever so maybe both leon and i got to go back without any more trouble uh that'd be uh that well that's not good that the eye died but it's one of the better outcomes that even feels wrong to say but we haven't seen leon though is he still kicking or what happened to him Built the me from here built an AI in Iru's image. So what? So is Nehru an Iru clone? But why would she have stabbed her clone? Because they like they look they look similar. So is Iru the name of Nehru's sister? That's so Iru got jealous. Right. 
So, so neighbor's not even a person. Never was a neighbor. Rika, damn. Damn, seriously? Okay, Rika's just not having it. But, oh, okay. You know, I was wondering, um, just, I don't know. I was more thinking maybe I would turn out to be an AI because literally her name is I, AI. So that, that, I wondered about that, but Nehru, I didn't really see that coming. Uh, Cause they said she was born from artificial insemination of a member of the Plati or the Plati, whatever the pronunciation is. I don't know. Um, so does that mean that that's how Aru was born or was that just Nehru's cover up? And does it even matter really? Man, man, they're just throwing curveball after curveball. And we only got six minutes left. Like what's, what is going on, man? Oh, so she, she wants to die to see them again. Why? Why? Why in the fuck wouldn't you answer it? Yeah, do it. She's gonna eat that shit? Uh, what the fuck, man? What the fuck? Are they. Is she just mad that Nehru lied to her? Or that she left? It's one hell of a fucking, like, situation. I get it, but. Damn. Right. Hey, that's good. Fresh start. Oh, that looks familiar. Right. Remembered it all. Stir up something. What What you gonna do? Gonna go find an egg. Gonna go. Okay. Oh, yeah. Get the pose. Let's go. Let's go get that boost. <laughs> it's got to get that lift off before, you know, breaking it. Oh, going straight. Straight for the machine. <laughs> okay. Man, man. This is probably going to get me some dislikes or some hate, but I did not love that. I, I feel like they just, oh man, I really like to stay positive on this channel. I hate to like <laughs> say any like really controversial topics or uh, like opinions because, you know, my channel's still growing. I don't want to get hate, uh, but uh, I just didn't personally, I didn't love that episode because I felt like it didn't do a whole lot. It didn't finish off a lot of what I was hoping it would do. I I guess they're kind of teasing for a season two that she kind of, you know, she held up the peace signs as well. And that's, you know, two. So that's probably their way of saying maybe that's in the process or they want it to happen. I don't know anything about the source material, so I don't know how like long it is. If it's like one more season's worth or multiple seasons worth, but I really feel like they they could have ended it off in a much more satisfying way. Because I guess we did get some answers and some you know new facts, like Nehru being an AI um, and kind of just a copy of her sister. We didn't even get to see the fight between her and apparently all three of those like um, fly uh, hybrid girls. Uh, she fought all three of them or no, she she like made a deal with Frill and stayed in that world. Like I didn't hate it. Don't get me wrong. I'm just so confused. I just can't say I really enjoyed it that much. And maybe that's just me. I don't know. I don't like saying it. 
Because I do like the show. I liked what it was in episodes like 1 to 12, I guess. I, 12 was a little iffy for me because I was also very confused. But I, it was still good. This, though, it didn't really cover what I wanted it to. Like, there was also, you know, Rika and Momo, they've, like, oh. Like, I just felt like the timeline was a little bit weird because I couldn't tell what was going on, how long it's been since the end of episode 12. I would like to know what happened with Leon. Is Leon around still? Because we never saw him die. You know, the whole Frill situation. I I still don't get it. What she tr- what's her end goal? Just kill girls because she you know she revenge against the one girl that was in her backstory. Um, sorry, I I'm forgetting what her name was. Himari. H- okay, yeah, Himari. Um, you know, I guess Frill was just pissed at her for kind of replacing her, and then ended up making her kill herself. But why that means she has to keep killing girls, it it maybe seems like she's trying to become human, because that's what she was saying to Nehru, but I still don't know. It's still not clear on what her goal is. And I know it happens in anime all the time. Answers, you don't get answers right away. But I don't know, I just did not love that, how they ended it. I just feel like they relied way too much on keeping it all a mystery to keep us interested. And it actually kind of had the opposite effect on me. Like, I'm not, yeah, like I said, I'm not shitting on that on the show. Uh, I'm sure there's people who like it. I might, I'm probably in the minority here, right? I, I haven't looked up reviews or anything of this special episode. So maybe it's like loved. Maybe people are loving it. But I'm just giving you my honest opinion here right off the bat. It could have been better. I, I'm i a little bit disappointed in how they ended it. But it, it very well could be, you know, the source material, just the adaptation. That's just where they had to end it. Um, I'm not blaming anyone in particular, really. I don't know what the big thing is, like what could have caused it to end at, at this point where we don't get much info. But... You know, season two, if it is confirmed and happening, that's better. That's That at least means we will get answers eventually, though I haven't heard anything about it, about a season two. So if it doesn't happen, then I feel like it's just we got cheated out of it, out of like all the answers. Could read the source material. I have no problem with that. But I would like to keep it like a series that I react to. Even if this episode didn't land with me, still love the show, still would like to give it, like, a chance, season two. Um, But yeah, I'm sorry if you guys liked it. I do really feel bad. But, uh, yeah, that's just my opinion. I didn't love it. All right, back to editing, Mark. Um, Yeah, I just wanted to quickly stop by and say... Basically done with recording the video, and yeah, my opinion it hasn't changed that much. Uh, it's just, yeah, now I do understand the timeline a little bit more, uh, so that helps a little bit, at least with like the first part of the episode that was confusing me with the whole neighbor situation and her like forgetting but not really forgetting. Yeah, that whole thing got cleared up. That's cool. I like that, but still. I really wish we get a, would have gotten more answers. That's basically what it comes down to. So I talked about it enough <laughs> during like yesterday's recording. So I'm not going in depth in it again just yet. Wanted to say opinion hasn't really changed that much even after rewatching it. So sorry. And yeah, uh, just back to the video slash outro, whatever, wherever I'm going to put this clip. I'm not sure. But yeah, um, How do I end this? Anyway, though, yeah, uh, I've probably made this video long enough with how long the intro was and, you know, this with like this whole rant that I've been on. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to end it there. Uh, That has been Wonder Egg Priority Season 1. I guess that's the end of it. So, yeah, if there is a Season 2, I will be back with it, I'm sure. Um, Might be a little while until that comes out, though, maybe next year. 
I uh, can't imagine it'll be later this year because that's uh, there's not much time left. But hey, I could be wrong. Uh, if you guys did, you know, enjoy or um, if you agree with me, you know, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. If you don't agree with me, that's fair. Uh, comment down below your thoughts on like why it was good, why it doesn't deserve me nitpicking it like this. Uh, just please don't be a dick about things. We can have like a civil conversation. I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent saying this was shit. I'm just saying I don't get it. But yeah, if you guys, um, if, if your opinions are different or you have different thoughts about it, just, yeah, um, try to keep it nice down there. I really, yeah, just be civil, please. But yeah, that's going to be it for me. So I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you all later. Peace.